For today's upper class, a house is not simply a place to live. It is a place to show off the homeowner's wealth and class. At the same time, it also demonstrates the power of the homeowner, which is why billionaires do not hesitate to spend huge sums of money owning the most comfortable and luxurious houses. Are you curious about what the world's most luxurious villas have that everyone wishes they could live there for just one day? Today, Luxury Style invites you to admire the houses known as the most expensive in the world and explore the lives of the super rich. In the first place is the Antilia Super Villa, estimated to be worth 1 billion USD. Antilia is located in the south of Mumbai, India and costs 1 billion US dollars. The house is owned by India's richest billionaire Mukesh Ambani. The Ambani family mansion called Antilia is legendary. According to Economic Times, this building has up to 27 floors and is considered the most expensive private house in the world. This is the main residence of the family members. Antelia is estimated to have cost up to 1 billion USD more than this is considered the second most expensive real estate in the world after Buckingham Palace in the United Kingdom. In addition to the amenities of the rich such as a movie theater, an indoor garage, and a ballroom, the Ambani family also designed a snow room to avoid India's hot weather. Here they can relax with artificial snow. The 27-floor house requires a large amount of manpower to manage and clean. The Ambani family is said to have hired up to 600 employees to work from chefs to cleaners, waiters, and fitness instructors. The billionaire family also provides accommodation for several employees, including Mukesh's security team. The name Antilia was inspired by the legendary island of the Atlantic Ocean. With the splendid design and decoration of this private residence, many people also call Antilia a luxurious palace. The building is 173 meters high, has 27 floors, and is designed to withstand a maximum earthquake of up to 8 on the Richter scale. On the top floor, there are three helipads. Inside, there's a private temple, a ballroom, a cinema, an ice room to beat the Indian heat, a spa room, a yoga room, and a dance room. The six bottom floors are used to display billionaire Mukesh Ambani's collection of 168 supercars. It is not strange that it takes 600 employees to serve and operate this luxurious palace. Next is the Super Villa Villa Leopolda, France, valued at more than 500 million USD. The one in the Bel Air neighborhood, Los Angeles, USA, is considered the most expensive and most modern villa in the United States, according to Business Insider. Bel Air is the neighborhood with the highest average income in the city, where many A list Hollywood stars such as Jay Z and Beyonce are living. After completion, this villa was put on the market for sale for more than 500 million USD. The one is located on a land area of more than 20,000 square meters with a house area of about 9,700 square meters with 21 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms, 5 swimming pools and many amenities for a luxurious life. The garage can accommodate 30 cars. The house also has a bowling alley for entertainment. However, the most impressive are the 5 swimming pools arranged in different areas and a 30-seat cinema that will be an entertainment facility for anyone passionate about the 7th art. Due to the changes in terms of planning, the Los Angeles government no longer allows the construction of large supervillas like the one, making it even more special. Supervilla The One was built by the former film producer Niall Niami for nearly a decade who borrowed a lot of money to invest and complete it. After a journey of nearly a decade of design and construction, The One now has an area of more than 9,700 square meters. Being a secret and closely guarded up to now, close-up images of the inside have only been released to the outside giving people a thorough view of the space of the house. The largest bedroom is said to be up to 510 square meters. Not only does it have a comfortable space, but it also has an extremely luxurious workplace, a private swimming pool, a kitchen, etc. The owner of the house, Mr. Niami, paid 28 million USD to buy this prime location land. At that time, there was a 929 square meter house on the land, but after the deal was completed, he rebuilt it. However, this tycoon refused to reveal specifically how much money he spent on completing the large-scale project. To complete this giant project, 600 workers worked continuously for 8 years. The entire house was designed by architect Paul McLean, and the interior decoration expert Catherine Rotundi came up with ideas. Every room in the house is flooded with natural light thanks to floor-to-ceiling glass windows. The floor combines white tones as the main color, making the space more beautiful. Surrounding three sides of the one is a curving road, making the whole real estate area seem to rise higher in the middle of the city. The most breathtaking part of the home is the stunning view of the Pacific Ocean to the west and the San Gabriel Mountains to the east. If you stand from the terrace of the house, you can see the panoramic view of downtown Los Angeles. 
Inside the building is an extremely interesting entertainment ecosystem. An indoor nightclub, a gym, a cigar room, a spa, and a wine cellar. One of the most special features of the house is the relaxation room with a glass ceiling and walls that function as a jellyfish pond. There is also a commercial scale beauty salon and seven bedrooms in a separate building for the staff. Rank third is Lace Adresse, a 187-year-old castle located on the beach of saint jean Cafarade, France, sold for 413 million USD. Villa Lace Adresse was built in 1830. By 1904, King Leopold II of Belgium brought and expanded the gardens surrounding the house. Once owned by one of the richest kings in European history, the interior is decorated extremely magnificently with a large living room, antique French chandeliers, a giant fireplace made of wood and marble, and floor-to-ceiling 19th century style portraits with elaborately carved frames. The villa door opens onto a long winding road flanked by rows of palm trees and cedars. A bronze statue of the goddess of war, Athena, covered in a marble pattern is placed right at the main entrance. Previously, the villa was once used as an olive farm. Nowadays, Villa Les Cedres is still home to one of the most beautiful gardens in Europe with elegant lawns, 15,000 trees, and 20 greenhouses growing many tropical plants. In addition, the villa also has a wooden floored library with 3,000 books about plants in nature. Among them is an extremely rare botanical book from 1640 and worth up to several hundred thousand euros. After King Leopold II died, this place was bought by the Marnier Lapostol family. They owned the villa for 80 years, turning this place into the richest vegetation in Europe. Currently, Villa Le Cedre is owned by an Italian distillery company, David Campari Milano Spa, a company specializing in Campari and Grand Marnier wines. Family neighbors of this expensive villa can include the famous British composer Andrew Lloyd Webber or Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. It is the combination of history, luxury, and prime location along the coast of saint jean Cafarat that makes the villa the most expensive house in history. Ranked fourth is the Gateways Canyons Villa, Gateway, Colorado, 279 million USD. Gateways Canyons is known as a dream resort of the Discovery Channel founder John Hendricks. The billionaire bought his first piece of land here in the 1990s and continued to buy until his land bank here expanded to 8,700 acres. The main house of West Creek Ranch residence has eight beds, eight bathrooms, four floors, and a Pueblo-style exterior. The interior of the lavish residence boasts a modern western meets farmhouse aesthetic and completes with a giant two-story circular stone library, four fountains, a theater, an art studio, a gym, a swimming pool, a spa, and an observatory. All the furniture is included with your purchase. A resort and spa have 72 rooms with all types of services. A car museum has about 55 cars. There are also two helipads with a separate hangar. Gateway Canyons Resort is located in the middle of one of the most scenic spots in Colorado, the Unaweep, Tabagosh Hiking and Historic Trail. The highway is carved through high canyons, following deep riverbeds and past stunning sandstone cliffs. Historic sites along the way include the remnants of Hanging Cave, which brought 23 million gallons of water per day from the San Miguel River to operate hydraulic mining equipment and the Bancroft Placer Gold District. The special thing that creates the value of this villa is the Gateway Auto Museum, an interesting destination that displays many rare cars with important historical significance during the process of formation and development of the American auto industry. This museum currently has more than 50 car models on display, of which the rarest and most special is the 1954 Oldsmobile F88 concept that was the source of one of the most intense auctions in American history in 2005. At that time, the car was transferred at a price of 3.3 million USD, four times higher than the price of the previous estimate. The oldest car at the museum produced in 1906 by Cadillac is the Model H Coupe. Surely Hendrix's resort and residence empire is one of the most beautiful locations in Colorado. It is located in the heart of Cottonwood Red Rock Canyon, so resort guests can hike the La Salle Mountains or hike along the winding Dolores River. There are also many trophy hunting opportunities with herds of 10,000 elks and 17,000 mule deers on the Uncompagre Plateau. Ranked fifth in the list of the most expensive villas in the world is Mesa Vista Ranch, Pampa, Texas, USA, valued at 250 million USD. Mesa Vista Ranch is located in the Texas Panhandle, northeast of Amarillo, USA. Mesa Vista is a luxurious oasis in the Texas prairie. There are many resorts scattered in small forests throughout this farm. 
It took the oil tycoon T. Boone Pickens 50 years to build this huge fortune that covers more than 65,000 hectares, equivalent to more than 100 square miles to this day. As Boone expanded his holdings, his focus was always along the Canadian River. Today, Mesa Vista Ranch stretches about 25 miles along the south side of the Canadian River. This lush river bottomland forms the heart of the property, but the farm has a variety of land types from rolling sand hills to high ridges. The four houses include a 33,000 square foot motel, a private airport with a 6,000 foot runway and terminal, a 30 seat home theater, a tennis court, a golf course, and two story ice crib with 40 livestock. This farm has been Pickens' place of leisure, such as hunting and golfing, for a long time. He started buying this farm in 1971. He also said the most of the proceeds from the sale of the farm would be sent to the T. Boone Pickens Foundation, which often sponsored many charitable activities. There were a number of unusual structures located on this farm, like Pickens' childhood home, which was transferred from Oklahoma in 2008. The very large lake house has 1,200 square meters of living space, plus a very large playground. The 3,000 square meter holiday home includes a large wine cellar with plenty of wine. Another family house of more than 550 square meters located on the west side of the farm includes a library and a cinema room with 30 seats. The house has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a large kitchen with a formal dining room. In the 150 square meter entertainment area, there is a lighted tennis court and a two-lane golf course. Near the gate next to the golf course is the maid's house with three bedrooms and three bathrooms. In the 158 square meter memorial house, there are many sculptures and art paintings located close to a small waterfall where the scenery is enchanting. There is also a separate area of over 1,000 square meters for hunting, being home to ammunition, hunting equipment, rifles and shotguns, a barn accommodating up to 50 dogs, a veterinary laboratory, an office, a meat processing center, and an exercise area for the dogs. The farm has an airport approved by the Federal Aviation Administration with a concrete runway measuring nearly 4,900 square meters. It is also home to much wildlife such as deer, antelope, quail, and pigeons. Boone often says that Mesa Vista Ranch offers the best quail hunting in the world. In his efforts to enhance wildlife on the property, Boone has been a leader in conservation efforts for many years and is now followed by many other sportsmen in the country. As a testament to Boone's conservation efforts, in 2008, he was named the recipient of the Park City's Quail Unlimited Lifetime Sportsman Award. Ranked 6th in the list of most expensive villas in the world is Billionaire, Bel Air, California, USA, priced at $150 million USD. This incredible masterpiece of a house at 924 Bel Air Road is located in the hills of Bel Air, California, within striking distance of the famous Beverly Hills and Holmby Hills neighborhoods. Home to the richest in the world, originating from a dream, this house dubbed Billionaire was developed by the real estate developer Bruce Mikowski. He was very dedicated and meticulous when creating this luxurious real estate area. The villa area with the name Billionaire includes 38,000 square meters of indoor use area and more than 17,000 square meters of outdoor entertainment area. In addition, the real estate block also comes with a helipad, an infinity pool, a cinema, a bowling alley, and a health spa. It also has up to 12 bedrooms including two main suites and 10 large living room suites. The interior includes 21 bathrooms decorated with 50 types of Italian marble, 5 bars, 3 kitchens, 3 dining areas, a fitness center, a health spa, a 4-lane bowling alley, a $12,000 glass billiards table, and a 360-inch TV, possibly the largest residential TV. The 40-seat Dolby Atmos James Bond-themed theater features a 22-foot screen, 57 speakers, and a 4K projector with 7,000 preloaded movies. Situated on a 1.08-acre lot, the home's exterior features a large floor space with a hydraulically retractable theater screen. The pool deck is complete with an infinity pool, spacious loungers, stunning pop-up screens, and breathtaking views all around. The planetarium is placed around the swimming pool, making the space blend in with the surroundings. This will be the perfect location to organize the most epic pool party. Every detail of this breathtaking piece of architectural art has been meticulously thought out, from the landscape to the materials and lighting. The home is strategically located on the slopes with the most amazing views of the snow-capped San Gabriel Mountains and the sunny shores of Malibu, giving you the best of both worlds. With no budget constraints, Bruce and his team were able to collect the finest materials from around the world to create this beauty. There were two wine cellars, two commercial elevators lined with crocodile skin, and a polished steel staircase with more than 130 works of art, including photographs by Timothy White and a million-dollar sculpture by Liao Yibai. The construction goal of the billionaire villa is very simple. Every inch of it needs to be designed creatively, flawlessly, and meticulously. 
Besides the unique entertainment areas, the mansion also owns a gym with modern equipment and especially a spa for healthcare. It can be said that living in luxurious and magnificent houses is the dream of many people. However, not everyone can meet the financial conditions and have the ability to pay for a house as desired. Expensive houses and the luxurious lives of the super rich are both a dream and a great inspiration and motivation for us to constantly strive. And you, which villa among the expensive ones mentioned above are you most impressed with? Please leave your thoughts below the video. See you again in Luxury Styles' latest video.